to Anderson. We are here to explore collaboration and the work that CETA team has done. First, let's meet the CETA team. Adam Jaquette, Principal of Anderson Elementary. Nadia Wajardo, Assistant Principal of Anderson. Hi, my name is Sarah Diaz. I am the Anderson Elert. And my name is Katie Carney. I am the Anderson Math Tosa. Hi, I'm Josh Jacobs. I'm a teacher at Anderson. Hi, I'm Carmen Chick, and I'm a teacher at Anderson as well. Um, some things that I have learned from working on CETA is that when I'm collaborating with a group around a particular project, um, I appreciate having different perspectives. So for, so for example, uh, obviously I have things through my admin lens and I appreciate getting the uh, classroom teacher lens as well as the support teacher lens. And I think that when you have all of those different perspectives together and you bring them to the table and give them all voice, you're then able to craft something, whatever this project might be or, or initiative, um, a lot more thoughtfully. Um, it's important for teachers to come together um, and collaborate and learn from each other. And I think we've um, with the lab days that we've had here at Anderson this school year, I think it's been a good opportunity to have um, grade level teams come together and have that experience where they can see each other teaching a lesson and having that opportunity to debrief after. I think that has been um, very powerful to bring grade levels um, to start collaborating with each other. Yeah, I would agree. And I think that that kind of speaks to the language that um, you know is intended from the grant about specifically flattening the hierarchy, being able to have uh, be mindful of positionality, but being able to kind of leverage, um, or no, uh, level the playing field, sorry, so that um, so that really teachers or the admin is able to create the conditions necessary, um, to the, the collaborative structures necessary so that um, teacher leadership can really drive it. Uh, as a CETA team member, I've learned that to collaborate, you really have to be patient. You have to be willing to um, listen to other people's ideas and you have to be able to work together to end up with an end product. So I've learned that similar to grade levels coming together to collaborate, I've learned that it's really important for our leadership team to come together to really collaborate and try out a lot of um, what grade levels are doing, but with us, um, as well as um, I've also learned that many people have different definitions of collaboration and finding that uniform or finding common ground has been really important for us and I also see that happening with grade levels. As a CETA member, I have learned about working with other people. Um, I think that's something that CETA has focused on this year is positionality mm -hmm. and it's been really important to have a group that has people of all different sorts of positions and positionalities and learning to work with them and gain value from them and also, to be able to reflect on my own positionality has been really uh, powerful for me and has helped me grow a lot. I sent my interviewing team into the school to ask some deep and meaningful questions. What is collaboration? Collaboration means to work together um, towards a common goal or to um, assist each other um, when we have weaknesses or we have certain strengths, we help others. Uh, sharing of ideas, working together for projects and all creating lessons together. Collaboration is realizing that you don't have all the answers yourself. Collaboration is important due to the fact that you're grouping up together. So there's um, a bunch of people um, trying to answer one single question. So they can interact to each other and they can have their own perspective. That is interesting. Thank you. What has a collaboration looked like? It's looked like our team working together, sharing ideas, and coming together to plan and to hopefully grow as teachers. We share emails, we um, text, we discuss um, upcoming lessons, planning so that we're all on the same the same page. It's just realizing that there's a lot more out there when you get more people involved and get more information from more people. That's interesting. I hear you did a lot of things. What did that look like? So we came together as a grade level to design a lesson plan. Uh, we worked on math. It was math. And so we, create, we worked on finding strategies. And we went into one teacher's classroom while they 
taught it and we all observed what the students were doing, how the lesson went, and then we got back together after. Feedback was really nice and it was a comfortable group of people and meeting afterwards was of course my biggest concern was uh, people were really nice. What do you do in the meeting after? I personally listened very carefully to what people had to say in terms of uh, what they saw and what they heard. Um, as the teacher, you think you know what's going on in the room at all times, and you really don't. You really don't. And you really don't. You really don't. And sometimes it's just nice to have that other pair of eyes back there. It was a nice reflection for myself to see that um, my class is not that different than other classes, and I'm, I give myself a hard time, but um, other classes have the same struggles as I do. The struggle is real. Thank you. Thank you for the time and have a lovely evening. What is collaboration? So what is collaboration? What is collaboration? What is collaboration? <laughs> what is collaboration? <laughs> <laughs> what is collaboration? What is collaboration? Collaboration. Say, what is collaboration? What is collaboration? Perfect.